Okay, so I'm making this video to show people how to create a GitLab repo uh, in our um, ECS system. Clone that onto your Microsoft Windows platform, potentially, if, or you can do it with command line onto a Mac. Um, and then make sure you've got the git ignore in the right place and then push it back to the repo you just created. Okay, so we're gonna do um, those three steps. We're gonna create um, the repo, download it, put the um, Unity um, project into the repo, add the git ignore, and then upload it back onto GitLab. So, as you can see here, we have a GitLab uh, up in the top corner here, just by my face, just that way, just there, um, is a uh, new project. So I'm gonna select the new project, and here is we, we're going to put in uh, comp313 and we'll call it um, A1. And um, for this case, I, I, I might add that I'm going to add a name, say 2D movement. Um, right, so this will be a, a repo with 2D movement. So I'm going to create an assignment, comp313, A1. Um, and development. Now you see it goes lowercase in there. Now this is a private repo um, and you can add a comma here, the first assignment for comp 313. Okay, so now we can create the project. We're keeping it um, private because this is my private assignment. So we create the project and it will say, oh, you've created an empty project. Now it's going to ask you what you're going to do. We're definitely going to add a readme because I want to have documentation done in the readme. So here we're going to go add readme. That gives us the readme. Now, standard markup. Uh, so I go here, hash um, comp313 uh, assignment one. And, um, and then um, that's the obviously the header, uh, and then I put in my name, um, so Simon Callum, and it's useful for me, ha, game's me. it's useful for me if you are able to actually also add in um, your uh, username, because then I, I it, it just helps us in case we have multiple people with the same name, which we have had in the past, so put in your username there. Uh, and here I would give the, the title of the project um, as being something like um, 2D, oh, 2D movement. And then you're going to follow in with all of the other titles that I have in the, in the specifications. Okay, so we can just create that at the moment and we'll get back to those. Um, and as you see here, we now have a, a small readme. It's the only file in our repo. There's no other files, there's no other material. Okay, now we need to clone this repo uh, and we need to clone it to Windows. So what I'm gonna do is um, I like to use a program called uh, Source Tree. Um, so this is from Atlassian. Uh, if you're interested, it's a, it's a graphical tool. Some of you like command lines, some of you like graphical. Uh, I'm agnostic, I don't really mind either way. Um, I can show you both, but we'll go with the simple cloning of a repo here. In um, Source Tree, um, this program, uh, what we do is we're going to need the source URL and a destination path and a name. So, so what we'll do is we'll go back to here and go, okay, well, um, I need to clone this repo. So if I go to the project, you'll see over here, again, just by my by name, just there, uh, you see there is the clone option. So here I go clone, and now, unless you've set up your SSH key in GitLab and your private machine has the SSH um, private and you've got your public key in, into um, GitLab, it's going to be with the HTTPS. Um, it's the easiest way uh, for most of the work we're doing. So if we do that, it's now copied into my buffer. I can then just go into um, source tree. Normally I might do something like that, create a new tab, and then I'd use the clone icon um, over here and go, clone, and then I put the path in here. Um, now that that gives me, um, it's gonna clone it just randomly somewhere into my system. So here I'm gonna browse, and I actually like putting it into my D drive, uh, and I have it under git under my D drive. Um, and here I have 313 and Unity, 
and I'll put it into here. I've got a few other sample projects as you can see. So that's the folder I'm gonna select. I select that folder, that's where it's going to go. Um, and here I want to give it a um, new name of um, comp313. So um, here I'm gonna pull it in to this repo and it, will, it comes in from there and it's gonna be called um, com313 repo and then I'm gonna clone that. Oh, it didn't like that because uh, destination path is not empty. So I, because of course what I've gotta do is I've gotta add that here as well. Comp313 underscore A1. So what I did there is I, I when I browse, you know, I picked the whole folder which had the other folders in it. This is, so I fixed that problem. Sorry about that. And then I can go clone, it will go clone, and then it will bring it down. Okay, so this is now an empty project. Uh, I have um, the, I have branches, the master branch, you can see I have just the readme in here, and that's the content of the readme, okay? So this allows me to kind of to view my, my commits. Uh, it also allows me to, to, to kind of see what's been going in and, and edit them. So, uh, but at the moment, everything's up to date uh, and I can create new files here. Okay, now on my machine, if we have a look under the um, D drive, uh, you will be able to see that if I go to Git, I'm just gonna bring it across. Okay, so I go to Git and I go to 313 and my Unity. And here I now have um, this 313A1 is the one I've just made. So if I go into that, you can see I've got just the the um, just the readme, uh, and uh, I'll just see if I can zoom. No, okay. So hopefully you guys can just read that. So um, that's the the readme and the dot get file. So here at this directory level is where I want to add my Unity project. Okay. So uh, I made a Unity project earlier. Um, without it being in Git. So if we have a look here, um, I made this um, simple Unity project here. It's got a readme and a simple project and you can see it's got assets and a, a solution and there are assets in here where I have models and sprites and in there I've got sprite, a sprite of me um, and a, um, yeah, so a JPEG meta sprite of me uh, and that's just a simple Unity project that just moves stuff around. Um, so it doesn't do anything particularly interesting. I was playing around doing, there's another example of a, a um, project here with the cup, and it's got a couple of controllers in it. And if we have a look at the assets, it also has um, sprites of me and a, a city. Okay, so these are both um, new projects. This one I just created. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'll put this, so this project, all right, so, Having created a new project, are we somewhere on your desktop? Uh, find the root level one, which has this these assets in it, right? So this is the root level project above the assets folder. So you go in here and you drop that into my git repo. So now I should see a readme, the Unity project, and a dot git. Okay, before I commit and before I push to the repo, what you'll see as you can see here now, it's saying, oh look, look at all these files I've just added. Um, and there's lots of metadata and lots of other content. Some of that I don't necessarily want to keep. So uh, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have the right dot get ignore because we want to actually ignore some of the constructed files that Unity creates so they don't start getting like disagreements between versions of Unity and, and disagreeing about the automatically created files. So what we need to do is we need to go in and find a good dot get ignore. Now what I've done for you guys is under GitLab, um, if we make that a wee bit bigger so you can see it, um, it under, under GitLab if you go to um, projects um, and you have a look under, oh, you can see all the projects, but if we have a look under comp313, click there, this is the course page. Up here, you see that there's the 313 group. You are part of this group, so you can see the sample, simple Unity game. Inside the simple Unity game, and inside the 313 template, 
in here is the dot get ignore, right? It's that file there, dot get ignore, is the important one. So if I click on that, you'll see that this is the raw file here. Uh, and you can see how it ignores some of the meta files and it ignores some of the automatically created files. So it's the ones we want to ignore. So what we're going to do is download that and put it in the right place. Now, you'll notice it's at the same level as the assets folder. That's important because you've got to put the ignore at the right level so that it would ignore all the appropriate folders and files, etc. Okay, so what we do is uh, under template, we go to that again, and now I can hit download, and I will download and I will just save the file and go OK. And now it will have downloaded to my, um, so if I go to downloads, um, where did it go? Download. Save file, okay. And, ah, oh, sorry. Um, of course, it's Firefox. Um, so, so here you can see I've downloaded it. Um, I go and find it in there, which is in my downloads. It's called dot get ignore. Um, and uh, I need to put that into the project. So if we copy that, and then I'm going to go to my D drive and go to get and 313 and Unity and uh, that's the Comp313 we just made. That's the project into that project. Now at the assets level is that's where I'm going to paste in um, the dot get ignore. Uh, now it seems to have forgotten the dot. Be careful that you actually call it dot get ignore. Um, Oh, right. So, rename must have a file name. Okay, so this is an, an issue with um, Windows, is it doesn't like you doing downloading that because of this dot get ignore issue. Um, so I, I hadn't experienced that. That's my first time of trying to do it that way. Um, so there's two ways we can do we can fix this, right? We can actually do it in um, both online and GitLab, but preferably we'd do it in our own um, machine. So uh, here is probably best um, to either use a, a tool or Git Bash. Here I have some Git Bash so that I can can do that so I can create um, files here. And if I have a look, I am in the right directory. I have this comp313a1, so I'll cd comp313a1, which is what we've just created. And if we do an ls, and we see we're, now it's actually saying we're in the master branch, and you can see there we've got the um, readme and the Unity folder. So if I cd into the Unity folder, uh, this is where I need to create my um, dot get ignore. So here I can go touch dot get ignore. That will have just created the dot get ignore file and it's now empty. Uh, and if we have a look in here, you can now see that I have an empty dot get ignore. Uh, I shall just delete that file. So this empty dot get ignore, I can open it. Uh, and I have this Editpad Pro as my text editor. Um, in here, I can then put the contents of this file, right? This got get ignore file, right? So that's a copy from there and paste in here, right? So that sees it's got hashes and it's got all those files. And now I can hit save. Now the reason why I want to do that first is because I don't want to upload all of those unnecessary files to the repo. When you're working with other people on GitLab, it is important to do that. Okay, so I've now saved that. So that's this, the adding to right get ignore in the right location. So I can then close. And if I go back to here, I've got a get ignore. It's uh, of about the right size. Um, and uh, yep, so it's been saved. 
Okay, so this get ignore is now next to my assets. I can see my assets have my scripts and my scenes uh, in here and my sprites and you see under my sprites I have my two sprites. Okay, so this is the folder I now want to commit. Now, if you're doing get bash, right? Of course, from here, I could go cd dot dot, move up a directory, do an ls, and I could do a commit right from get bash here. And so I do a um, git, commit, give it a message, and then upload it, right? And then do git push, right? So that would be the standard. So I do git commit um, minus m, oh, so I do a git add, git add, and that would add them all. And then I do a git commit with a minus m and write a message in, and then I do a git push. Um, I like, I'm gonna use source tree just cause I can. Um, so here, this is now, showing me, all if now that the got, dot get ignore has been added, it's showing me just the files I'll actually add. Right? So here, um, I can do stage all, which will add all of those files to the new commit. Now you can stage parts of files and you can stage just some of them, so you can sculpt your commit, so rather than just adding everything, you're, I'm, I could be adding parts of it. Um, currently I don't have any issues, so in my repo, so I'm not gonna use any smart commits, Right? If I was gonna add a smart commit, and you know, I could do that now. I could go to my repo and say, oh, I want to do a smart commit. So here, I'm gonna go to issues. Um, and it first issue was an empty start project. Um, so, uh, oh, that's my simple unit again. That was the, an issue I had. Uh, if I go back to my projects and I go, oh, go straight back to Unity Core. This is the one I've just made. I go into that project. It has zero issues. If I was, I go to issues and then go um, new issue, I would then able to say um, upload project and Unity. Uh, and then I could um, submit the issue. That would have created issue. You see it's now issue number one. Um, and so, this is if I wanted to, I could quickly do that. And then had I could have hash one, whoop, hash one uploading initial unity build. Okay, so, um, and so now I can go commit. So that, and source tree says I've got one commit on master branch, um, which is this one commit here, which I, my, my local commit is now ahead of the origin of the master. Uh, I then will go push, and it will say, where do you wanna push? I wanna push to master in the remote, and I will push. And voila, I'm now up to date, everything's been pushed, that repo is now um, on the cloud. So if I go and have a look, I can see also it says, I mentioned this issue in this commit, uh, and if I go to the project, I now have a Unity project in here that has um, the assets and the sprites uploaded. Now you might notice, just so you're aware, um, that there is under assets, I'm only seeing three folders, but if you had a look at my repo, I had more folders than that. Um, in the project, there were one, two, three, four, five. Why are there only five? Well, that's partly because some of them are being ignored, but also if, if a folder is completely empty, say in assets, I had three, and here I have um, prefabs, and there's no prefabs here, um, that's because prefabs is empty, and Unity won't, and um, Git won't load an empty file with no files in it because it, there's nothing to version control. So that's why that's not there, okay? I'll stop the YouTube video and I'll start my next one on um, the smart commits and on, um, yeah, building your, your, and referring to line numbers in your script files. Okay, so you can actually comment and, and highlight line numbers, which if you want to highlight particular things that you've done well, is really useful. Okay, thank you.